Having onboard air is super important in your rig. From blow up dolls to beach balls, you never know exactly where you're needed. Today, we're gonna be installing onboard air in this brand new Rubicon XR. On the JL Wrangler, there are a lot of different places to mount the ARB compressor. Some opt for it under the passenger seat. Some opt for it in the back, either in the cubby or on the rail. In this video, we're gonna show you how we use the Grim off-road bracket to mount the compressor under the hood. As you can see, we've got the front inner fender well removed and we've got the mounting bracket all tucked up. It uses several different attachment points hanging it off of the brake booster, as well as on the firewall. So it is tucked up and secure. I really like this heat shield because as you can see, this air compressor is mounted very close to the catalytic converter, which gets very hot. And so it's got this air gap aluminum heat shield to protect the compressor from any heat that may be throwing out of that catalytic converter. As you can see, we've got the air line running right down just to the back. We have it coiled up now, but we're gonna finish the installation and run it to the back. Wiring is pretty straightforward. We've got the ARB harness routed right behind through this channel, which Jeep provides, which is super nice, over here to this factory upfitter switch. If your Jeep is a Rubicon, likely it has four OEM auxiliary switches. If it's not a Rubicon, then you may want to look at something like an S-Pod or a Switch Pros to control all of your electrical circuits. So, like I said, this is wired right here. We've got two big fuses and power. This is just going to auxiliary switch number four, which the compressor's got a relay over there, so it's just using it as a signal and it's drawing all of its power directly from these two fused circuits. In the back, I wanna show you exactly where this airline is gonna come out because it is super slick. As you can see, we've got the tail light already removed and we've got the whole fuel door taken out. And we've installed this pretty slick little template from Next Venture Motorsports. It's a very simple template. It's all stainless steel. It's made here in the US. And what it does is it allows for an air chuck to get mounted right inside the OEM fuel filler door. You can plug your airline right in there and this keeps it away from prying eyes, from moisture or any damage that could happen to the air chuck. When you flip it over, you can see exactly how it works. What we've done with this template is essentially just offset the fuel filler neck. So we're just gonna push it a few, I don't know, what is that? Maybe three quarters of an inch over to the side, which gives us plenty of room to mount that air chuck right in there. When we route these, we always use these push to connect fittings with that black nylon airline. So if you're thinking about air, this is a wonderful way to make it happen. Everything is hidden so you don't see a compressor, you don't see any aftermarket switch, and you don't see an air chug. In addition to purchasing all this stuff, I would also check out the air up kit that ARB has, as well as their digital tire inflator, because realistically, I hope that's what you're using this air compressor for.
We've got the installation complete. David did a wonderful job getting everything plumbed and routed. The install looks phenomenal. A couple things that I wanted to talk about now that it's all complete. As you can see, under the hood, you can't tell that the air compressor is mounted down below this brake booster. One sign that you can see under the hood is this. These are the two intake vents from ARB. They kind of include a little filter in there. Um, and that is what's sucking air into the air compressor. They include this bracket from Grim Off-Road in the kit. One thing that we did to modify this bracket is we cut a tab off that goes there where you can mount a switch and air chug. Now, as we talked about earlier, the customer did not want the switch and the air chuck installed in this system this way. So we cut it off and painted the bracket so it doesn't even look like it exists. To turn the compressor on now, we've got to go inside and push the auxiliary four button. Once we're inside the Jeep, we're going to turn the ignition on to the run position and then hit auxiliary switch number four. That will turn the air compressor on. When the air compressor's on, you will hear the air compressor run a little bit to build up some pressure. The compressor's got a built-in high pressure switch to turn it off or on when the pressure is high enough or low enough. When you're ready to use the air system, all we do is open the fuel door and plug in the air line. One thing that I would like to note that we figured out kind of the hard way is the ARB pump up kit it comes just like this. The end that comes on this airline will not work in this fitting. So you're gonna to need to buy a different airline as well as this Milton uh, 727 um, air chuck. When you've got those two pieces, it'll plug right in and work. The air chuck, although, from ARB, plugs right into this airline that we've got, although you may want to verify the exact system before you hit the trails or the beach. So we've got this system. It's working great. The air compressor is turning on and off like it should. Uh, I think we should put this thing to the test. We've got a little beach ball right here, and we've got this little nipple that comes in the pump-up kit from ARB. So all we're going to do is jam it in there and pull the trigger. Just like that, you've got air. What an awesome thing to have in your Jeep for any time of year, on-road, off-road, the beach, or the trail. Onboard air is a must. This guy doesn't have any air lockers, but if you've got an air locker, you're gonna definitely need a compressor just like that. Something to note, when you're all done using your air, make sure you do it the safe way. Turn off the air compressor, and then bleed out all of the air from the airline. Once there's no more air in the airline, you can simply push the button and take the line out. If you try and remove this airline with it full of 120 pounds of air, this thing will blow out and it could clock you in the face. So if you're gonna do it, make sure you do it the right way. So if you've got any questions about air in your vehicle, be sure to hit us up in the comments section Follow us all over the place, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for some of the coolest footage of what we do every single day here in the shop, building some sick off-road rigs. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next one.